Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, as you can see, I kind of discovered how to avoid making my face look super bright and shiny uh, with this new phone. And uh, I think it's it's a matter of lighting. So yeah, I, I turned uh, down the lighting on both of my rings so that maybe it looks better. I think it actually looks better, so we'll see. Well, um, today we're going to be doing the next episode of Nicolex Podcast Era, so welcome back to that. Um, in this episode, we're going to talk about Muse and also something that is going on with material creation. So first, we have the news, of course. So we have um, the... Um, I, I, um, the Draculaura <laughs> doll from the Monster Fest line, she is going to come with a food truck. Yeah. So uh, you already know that when dolls come with uh, food trucks, with uh, play sets, something like that, they always tend to be a little bit less detailed. Uh, they have, yeah, like the, the overall um, look of the dolls is way simpler compared to the main dolls for the, the line. So in this case, it is no exception. Like Draculaura has a headpiece, which is not painted on. I no, yeah, it is not painted on. Um, and she just has this cute top. I actually like the top. I think it looks really cute. It's like a bow and it looks to be a little bit translucent. So I like that. We have a skirt with some neon designs, which is okay. And we also have um, a guitar that she comes with. Uh, she comes with um, really cool boots. I love those boots. Uh, but yeah, that's. I think she comes with a necklace. Yeah, and that's it. That's all the things that they they uh, that she comes with. And uh, yeah, the the um, food trucks has like two options. You can make like a stage and also the actual like food truck. <laughs> so yeah, overall it's a cute place. It. I don't think it's like the best thing ever. I'm not the biggest Dracula fan, so I'm not going to get it because yeah, I have I don't have the space. I don't need that Dracula. I don't think she's worth it to be honest. She's cute, but um, yeah. I uh, I think what I um what I'm trying to say is that uh, some people are like complaining in the like on Instagram and stuff that she's like way too simple and that she has a really bad design like. We all need to remember that she is part of a playset show, so she's going to be way um, less detailed. So yeah, that's about it. Then we have clearer pictures of Cat Noir. We already talked about her, but um, we can like check her out again. We can see super clearly her accessories, her pet. Um, she has those really beautiful braids on her hair. Um, she has a 13 on the back of her phone. I really like that. Um, we can already see that the um, the sleeves here, like the really puffy sleeves, are actually um, like a vinyl, as I told you in my previous video. I think I said that. Um, so yeah, um, I think she looks really, really cute. Um, and yeah, I love the the tail sculpting, like I already said. <laughs> then we have a, a new playset um, for Cleo. So it is like a vanity. I'm happy that she has full articulation, to be honest, because the last time we got like some kind of <clears throat> playset-ish kind of um, thing for Cleo was in G2. Um, well, actually, yeah, the one with the, the harp that was like a comb and stuff and she was not articulated. So it, this one for some reason reminds me of that a little bit. Um, but yeah, she comes with um, a really sparkly shirt. I think it looks cute. Um, the skirt I'm not a really big fan of. Um, the actual like playset is really cute, I think. It is very simple, but it is really nice. It comes with a ton of accessories, but most of them are reused and uh, are not like painted. So a lot of people is like kind of mad about that. I'm not too mad about it because I don't think uh, kids are going to complain about that because it already comes with a lot of things. So it is basically for kids to have fun, to combine all the different accessories. So I'm fine with her. I think she looks really, really cute. So that's it for that Clio. And then we also have a new listing for 
one of the um, new designer series dolls so she's called lenore loomington so there's kind of a lot of uh theories around this new doll uh well this new doll line and uh some people say it is supposed to be something related with garden i think we already knew that but uh yeah uh, i i'm the, the theory that i have i wish it, it it is true is that um they're going to be the the sculpts that um garrett sander showed us uh, quite some time ago that were the um, like the the snail one the um, the spider one and also the um, the dragonfly one those if those are these dolls i'm, I'm just going to cry and they're 150 dollars but i think this is like um australian currency so yeah this one is going oh it, uh, it is going to be 98 dollars so pretty expensive but we'll see what happens with that and um someone said that i'm on uh March 1st, we're going to get the monster from, well, the creature from the Black Lagoon on Amazon. Uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, we'll see because it's Friday. So yeah, we'll see. Then we have a new set, um, which is a bunch of recycled things, which I, I think it's kind of weird that we're getting that set right now because um, those sets with recycled accessories tend to come out uh, in the holiday season because they're like, um, I don't know, um, leftovers in, in a way uh, for uh, like past lines and stuff. But um, yeah, it's like, um, like a playset combination, I would say. No, it's like the student lounge basically, uh, just without the couch. And um, I think that's it. We have the like the um, vending machine and the little like basketball game, and we have uh, Laguna and Claudine, and uh, they look super nice. I think Laguna looks super cool with that really high ponytail, and she's supposed to be like on the swim team, I guess. So she has a swimsuit, and we have Claudine uh, in sportswear as well. So yeah, cute. Not like something groundbreaking, but uh, yeah, cute. <laughs> And um, we also have the um, little problem that we're getting with uh, uh, Mati Creations, which is the fact that they're not shipping internationally for now. We do not know how long is that going to be like that because um, I think it started a couple days ago, maybe like a week ago, when they did a um, Hot Wheels drop and it actually was like a hot mess. Even so, it was so bad that they actually had to go on Instagram on their stories and uh, like uh, issue an apology on their stories. So I don't know how, how bad things were to have like to apologize on Instagram. So uh, the only thing that I have to say about that is that Mattel is very greedy and it is showing because um, they're not having the, um, I don't know, the, the, the capacity of uh, sending all these packages every single uh, like a place in the earth. And yeah, the, the, um, the amount of things that they're selling is tremendously big. Like the, the, the logistics for that has to be incredibly complicated and um i i guess maybe because of all the things that they're doing constantly they uh are not like yeah they, they just reached the the limit that they have in terms of uh logistic as i said so yeah it is kind of interesting to see how um that backfires on them because again with like Last year, we got like so many dolls for Mater Creations, at least for Monster High. We had the three Midnight Runway dolls. We had, um, which one? Jack and Sally. We had uh, Elvira. We had Chucky and Tiffany. We had so many dolls uh, just for Mattel Creations. And also, 
well, that's for Monster High. We also had uh, the pink collection dolls. We had, uh, I think there were some anniversary dolls. Um, and yeah, there's a bunch of drops uh, for Hot Wheels. Like they have been like doing this kind of collaboration with uh, an artist. I think that's an artist. I, I don't remember that well, but yeah. Oh, we also got the Mark Raiden dolls. Um, so yeah, Mattel is doing so much. And I think at this point it is showing how um, incapable they are of uh, actually like up accomplishing all the, um, the orders that they're getting because yeah, it is just too much. And um, maybe that's a lesson for them to slow down in the amount of things that they're selling because it is completely nuts. So, yeah. And, and also, another um, thing related to that is that um, we have seen the off-white dolls being, like, pushed back more and more and more. And uh, the only one that we're missing is um, Symphony Midnight, I think it's her name. The one with the, the um, skull uh, inside of her face. I think, yeah, that's the only one that we're missing. And they were supposed to come out like uh, November, December, no, October, November, December, and January. Something like that. They were supposed to come out like once a month. But uh, yeah, it has been like we're in February and we, we're starting March and we haven't seen the last doll from that. Um, so yeah, it, it tells a lot. Yeah, it, it speaks volumes, to be honest, um, to see how things are not working too smoothly with Mattel Creations. I hope it is not too big of an issue to maybe cause them to close that site because I do like um, the products that they sell there. And uh, something that uh, Annalise Lau said uh, on her stories, I think a couple days ago, it was that when they're working for other retailers, for example, Amazon, um, of course you can order from Amazon, like from any part of the world, but um, you have to take into account what is going to sell best for Amazon to be interested in that product. So for example, we have um, exclusive dolls for Amazon, but we got uh, Frankie and Draculaura. So that, that's, that, that just, um, let us know that they would never be able to make, for example, Gina Fire or more um, Skeleta dolls, like, for example, the Operera doll that is going, like, yeah, the, the rumored one. Um, so, yeah, it is kind of sad that um, having, like, availability every single, in every single part of the world um, comes with the cost of doing the same characters over and over again because that's what Amazon and all the other retailers want. So that's the 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 good point about Mate Creations is that we can get different uh, vari variety of characters. Sorry, I'm not um, that good at talking um, <clears throat> today. <laughs> so yeah, for example, we have the Jack and Sally dolls. Maybe those had... They, they, those could have um, sold pretty well on Amazon because, of course, Nightmare Before Christmas is something very, very famous. But for example, I don't know, Elvira maybe was not the, 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 the case. Uh, doing all the, for example, Gulag Schoolia maybe would have not sell that well. Maybe it, it would have never happened to begin with. So, yeah. I hope they can, like, fix all the things going uh, wrong with the material creations. Um, and, uh, of course I hope they start like, um, sailing to other countries, like shipping to other countries again, because yeah, it is a little bit frustrating being from different uh, parts of the world and not being able to get, uh, the dolls you want, because we all deserve to have the dolls. We all deserve to have like the, <clears throat> all the, the possibilities of uh, getting them if we want to. Um, I do have like an, an, a, a US address so that all my packages go there and then they ship them to me uh, here in Colombia. So I do not have like a personal problem with that, 
But in general, it is frustrating for other collectors. For example, some of my friends um, are actually upset about that. And uh, yeah, I totally get them because yeah, it is pretty, pretty um, sad to see how poorly managed is that site. Uh, and we all saw this coming because it happened since the first um, drop that was, I think the first one was um, Hound Couture Frankie, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, that was the first one. Uh, oh, and actually we also got, no, yeah, that was the first one. Then we have the, the real drama ones, but that was another, like, most of the drops are like so, so bad. Like, um, Frankie was kind of okay. She took like uh, a day and a half to, to sell out. Then we had uh, Claudine or Dra yeah, Claudine, and she took a little bit longer. And then we had Draculaura, which sold instantly. That doll is like super expensive right now. And that's something that um, I would say it benefits Mattel in some way because they have never stopped doing that. Like they keep on doing less and less quantities of those dolls just for them to be like rare. For example, um, the Jack and Sally dolls, the um, Elvira one, the, um, um, I don't know which which one else, um, uh, Pennywise, the Grady Twins, all those ones from the Monster High Collector series. Um, yeah, they, they somehow get uh, something good uh, from the fact that they are like hard to find, I, I guess. Because if that was not the case, they would do like multiple drops or maybe made to order dolls as it happened with Gina Fire, as it happened with um, Rochelle. But yeah, I just hope everything goes well with that side because um, if that's not the case, maybe we'll never get to see um, Operetta, the one that is coming this year. But I, I don't think that's the case because she is most likely already coming out. If not on Mature Creations, it is going to be like on Amazon or something like that. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, and that's it. Uh, oh, I just connected like the dots. Um, maybe the creature from the Black Lagoon is going to be delayed because we have never seen a collector drop on Amazon and that's pretty weird. So I don't know if they're putting that um, exclusive doll on Amazon of, uh, or if they are like trying to, I don't know, um, put in pause, I would say, all the side, all the, uh, the new like releases and stuff, and then uh, drop the, the creature from the Brackthoon doll. I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh, and also we're getting some kind of uh, event uh, the 21st of uh, March, 21st and 22nd, and it is supposed to be something related to the whole material creation side and Monster High reposted it. So um, I guess we're going to see another Monster High new doll on the, the um, 21st or 22nd. Uh, so yeah, a lot of things going on with material creations. I don't know if all of them are good, to be honest. Mm, I don't know if any of it is going to be good because if they're having problems with the shipping things, I don't know how it's going to be like releasing new things, like super, super hot new things uh, if they're not able to ship it everywhere. So I don't know. I don't understand their logic, but we'll see. That's it for this episode. It is kind of short, I know. Um, but overall, I think um, there's not that much to talk about right now. Uh, oh, I do think the, um, the new... Uh, season for the animated series for Monster High is going to be um, coming out really soon, I think in June, July, something like that. Oh, I can't believe I just forgot to talk about the, um, the comics that are coming. I, are those comics or like graphic novels, something like that, um, about uh, Claudine and Torlai and also Speldon and uh, Valentine. I'm so happy that we're finally getting a story for for um, Spilldon and Valentine. Uh, 
I don't know about Claudine and Toralai because um, yeah, I, I have never been like a fan of that part of the the um, the canon of the the um, or like the head canon that most people uh, wanted to <clears throat> give Claudine like that that sexuality. Uh, but like to explain myself a, a little bit better, when uh, Garrett Sander did like um, Q and A's a long time ago. Uh, he actually talked about uh, having Claudine as a character in G1 that was not boy crazy. So she was not supposed to be interested in any guy. That never meant that she's supposed to be lesbian, for example. Is it bad? Of course not. It is not bad at all. Uh, cool if that's the case. But I don't know how much the influence of uh, the fandom uh, caused Monster High to go ahead and make that uh, decision to switch her sexuality, for example. Um, but if the fandom is happy and Mattel is getting money, I guess everyone is winning. So, yeah. But uh, personally, I'm most excited about Spelden and uh, Valentine because I think that's a story that we need to know about. I love the fact that he's trying to stop himself from feeling and he's like um looking for help on spelldon because of the spells <laughs> so yeah we'll see what happens with that and uh yeah that's it thank you so so much for watching this episode don't forget to comment down below what do you think about these new things that are coming out um in terms of uh, dolls there's not that much in terms of uh, content it is a lot in terms of drama related to material creations it is quite a lot as well um but yeah that's it don't forget to like this video share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel activate the little bell icon so that you can notified every time i upload a new video follow me on my instagram and my tiktok those links will be always in the description box down below and i'll see you in the next one bye